Here's the problem. The UN estimates there are 125 million school-aged children around the world who are illiterate. They live in places of the world that will never have enough schools or enough teachers. And while there's amazing efforts going on right now to get more teachers out there in the developing world, it just doesn't scale. XPRIZE is a non-for-profit that organizes prize competitions that spur innovation. It's awarded money for the invention of new methods of crude oil cleanup, for developing a lunar exploration vehicle, and creating an ultra-fuel efficient car. What's XPRIZE's education challenge? We're launching what's called the $15 million Global Learning XPRIZE. We're asking people to build a piece of software that can operate on any Android platform, tablet, smartphone. It's got to engage them and it's got to take them from nothing in 18 months to basic reading, writing, and numeracy. That's the goal. In 18 months, where do you expect a young person to get? There is evidence that you can, in fact, start to shape the, the reading and writing mind in an 18-month period of time. And we're, we're focusing on, on five to 12-year-old kids. You're taking them through first grade, second grade? It's not defined in that fashion. We're trying to get people to the point where they can read to be able to start to educate themselves. How much does the winner get? This is XPRIZE's largest prize competition ever. The top five teams win a million dollars and the winner, $10 million. Those top five teams will test their technology in Sub-Saharan Africa, where there are 57 million children out of school. If computers can teach children faster than a teacher can, a human teacher can, then why wouldn't technology replace teachers? Well, technology is going to replace some teachers, but it's mostly going to complement teaching in the classroom. I hope that we're going to see all comers entering this competition, whether it's a, a Google or a Microsoft or a group of high school students that have, because they're younger, have a better connection with what a kid knows. These global teams are going to form and let the best win. If all goes according to plan, the students who use the technology will be a test group for how well and how fast basic skills can be learned absent human instruction. That's the short answer.